Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today I am sharing with you guys my recent purchase from H&M. It's that time of the year again to start layering up and dressing warm for this winter. Although here in Texas, it doesn't get as cold as I wish it did, but I'm prepared in case I travel anywhere cold and for those days that actually do get cold here in Texas. So I love layering up. That's like my absolute favorite thing to do, especially for the fall and winter outfits. And so I was shopping at H&M and I came across these sweaters that I really, really like the style. So I purchased them in like almost every color. And then I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I'm planning to style these sweaters, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with number one. And I'll try to link everything down below in the description box in case you guys are interested, okay? So the um, first one I'm gonna show you guys, I really, really love the actual knitted texture on this and the color, it's like my favorite. So. Um, it did come in multiple colors, like a black and white, but I decided to get this nice little gray color. And look how beautiful it is. It's like a nice knit and it's super thick and chunky. And it's more of a like crop sweater. So if it's like right above your waist, um, and then it is a turtleneck and it's not itchy. I know a lot of these sweaters that are knitted like this and super chunky can be a little bit itchy because of the material. I've already tried all these on and they are super soft, warm and cozy. They are not itchy at all, which is a total fail when you love the color, the fit, but then they're super itchy on you. Like you just want to rip it off. So these are actually perfect. I highly recommend them. It does stretch a bit. I went with the size small just because it is a crop and it's already a loose fit like around the arms. So it's like you have a lot of room to move your arms around and stuff like that. So I didn't need it to be super oversized. So I decided to get a small, which is my true size. But look how cute this is. I love it and I love the knitted texture on here. So super, super nice for this winter. I can't wait to style this and show you guys exactly how I am gonna style it. All right, these next ones here, um, it's going to be this another turtleneck one and it's going to be in this really nice, pretty, it's like a camel brown color. And this is also a turtleneck. It's a long sleeve. And honestly, you guys, sometimes I have such a hard time finding the perfect sweater that are long enough for my arms because I have super long arms and sometimes it's hard to find some that are full length. Like for example, this one, this sweater is from Zara and this is what it turned out like. So um, I just love the way it fits in the style and I just decided to keep it, but it's a total fail how here it's just not long enough. So these were actually perfect. I did go um, sized up on these just because I want that oversized loose fit. So I went ahead and ordered a medium and I love how the turtleneck has like this ripped material. It kind of just looks completely different from the rest of the sweater. But then it also has that same detail at the end of the sleeves. So look at that. And it's like the perfect camel color. It is not too warm. It's like perfect. So I went ahead and ordered this one. And then I do like the cuts on the sides right over here. And it does have them on both sides. Remember, I'm going to go ahead and wear these and show you guys how they fit and how I'm going to style them. Okay, so just stay tuned. Um, I ordered the same one in a different color. This is more of a neutral cream color and order the same size. I did get a medium. So this one's a little bit more neutral, so you get to dress it up or down however you like. And then I went ahead and ordered a gray one as well, just because I already have a lot of black clothing and this was also available in a black, but um, I ordered a different style in a black. So I decided to go more of the grays and then the warm colors on this exact style. So the back of the neck does have a slit, which is actually not a bad idea to have, especially when it's a turtleneck, because you want to have that flexibility when you're moving your neck and when you're wearing the sweater, because if it wasn't for that little slit in the back, that sweater is just going to be like super tight on your neck. And I think that's when it starts making it uncomfortable and itchy. So that little slit does help a lot, actually. So this is the gray one. Okay, so this is how it looks in gray. And then um, it does have the slits like the other one. So it's exact the same thing, just a different color. 
Okay, and here is one of the black ones that I ordered. And this one, I think I got a size medium as well. Oh no, this is a small. And the reason I got a small on this one is because this one's also like a crop. So it's a little bit very similar to this chunky um, knitted one that I showed you guys. It's just not a knitted material, as you can see. This is this looks very similar to the other sweaters that I showed you, how it has the ribbed turtleneck and then a different material over, over the sweater. So um, this is more of a cropped. So um, the arms and like this area here is like super loose and oversized looking. So it fits really nice, and I'll show you guys in just a minute. So I went ahead and ordered a black one in this one. Um, I also ordered this one because I've been wanting like a striped sweater, but this is a sweater dress. So let me go ahead and turn it back to, um, it was inside out. So let me go ahead and fix this real quick. And this one, I did get a size small because again, the details on it was an oversized fit. So I did get a small and I'll show you guys exactly how that looks. Um, this is a sweater dress, so it is long, maybe just like right above your thighs, like right around like mid-level. So it's like a more of a midi dress, um, but it's not heavy. It's not like super tight. It's like a very nice loose fit. And then it does have the loose sleeves as well. So the size on this, it's like amazing. It's perfect. It fits really well. And then it's not a full neck, like full turtleneck, but it is like a mock neck. So it does have a little bit more of a higher layer, just not as high as an actual turtleneck. So if it's really nice, I love the stripes. This looks really cute with some like nice tall black boots. And then I did have red nails at that time. And I love black and white stripes with red, like any combination. So if you were wearing this with some black boots and like a red, a red handbag or a red purse, I think that's like a perfect, you know, pop of red. So um, I love the way that combination looked. But I'll try this on so you guys can take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'll go ahead and try uh, this one on first so you guys can get a better idea of what this sweater looks like. Okay, so here is the sweater dress. And as you can see, it fits loose throughout the whole entire fitting, even on the sleeves, which is what I liked. And so um, if you kind of wanted to show more of your like waistline, you can definitely like rock this with a belt. Um, so I don't have a belt right now, but I'll just use this so you guys can kind of get the idea. So you would just put this over your, right at your waistline and then as you can see, it defines your body a lot more so that you'll be able to see more of your figure and waistline. But I honestly just prefer it to be on the loose side, just like this. And I am pairing it with these high boots. So it's just your preference of how you want to dress this up or down. Um, I think it will look really cute with some nice like military black boots as well. These are high heel. But if you kind of want to just dress it down and not wear high heels, you can definitely do that. So I have another pair of boots and let me show you what that will look like. Okay, so here are the other boots um, that you can style this with. And these are, I call these like military boots or combat military boots. I guess that's what they're called. I'm not sure, but this is what they look like. So... They're a little bit more on the chunkier side, but they're still tall boots, so it kind of looks really good with this dress. Let me um, try to get you guys the entire look. And as you can see on the neck, it's not a full turtleneck. It's like halfway, and it's not itchy, it's stretchy, very flowy. I love the style on this dress, super cute. Okay, this next one here, it is not a sweater dress, so you're definitely gonna need something underneath. And I am just using these uh, faux leather pants or shorts that I purchased from Forever 21 last year. So you can do these or you can do some like biker shorts or it's just your preference. This is just what I'm using. Um, again, it is not a sweater dress, this is just a oversized dress i mean oversized sweater so um this is a medium i think a small would have been a little bit too small just depending how you want to style it 
I'm styling it with these shorts underneath and this is how I plan to style all of them. Um, it does have a large slit cut on the side and it looks like the back side is longer, just a few inches longer than the front. So that kind of like evens everything out. And again, you can wear this with some tall pointy dressy boots or you can just kind of dress it down with the other uh, chunkier boots. So let me show you what that looks like. So here we are. This side has the dressy boot. It looks something like this. And then this is more of a casual size. It just depends how you want to dress this. Super cute style. You can also tuck it in if you're wearing like a sports bra, you can tuck it in. Um, and I would do this if I was wearing a coat over this. So that way this is, you can kind of like, you know, layer things up and kind of work with it. So um, let me show you guys what it will look like with a coat. So this is what it will look like with a coat. Um, the reason I am tucking it in into my bra is because you kind of want to work with the layers here. So it wouldn't look as nice if you leave it down like that. So um, you have to incorporate your layers and kind of make it all work together. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and here is the lighter one. This is the uh, cream ivory color. Um, again, I'm wearing the same shorts, but you can switch it up. Maybe this will look nice with some brown faux leather shorts or a skirt. Um, again, this is just the preference of how you want to style this and how you want to wear it, but um, I'm liking it like this just because it has that cut here. So you'll be able to see that you have something underneath. So I'm styling it with the same military boots. You can dress it up with some heels or some pointy heeled boots, but I like it either way. You can work with it in so many ways. Um, you can do the same thing and tuck this in and kind of have a coat. Um, let me show you guys my mango coat. So because I am using the lighter cream color, um, it will look a really nice combination will look nice with my mango coat. So um, I took this one to New York last year and it kept me warm the entire time that we were walking the city. But this is what it will look like. All these colors here are like my favorite. So this is something something I would rock if I was down in the city. But um, this is nice again with these boots. And you can dress it up if you like to, if you want to start, you know, having some heels, you can add heels or you can just use um, your boots, whichever your preference is. But this looks really, really nice like this together. So it just depends how you want to style it. Another nice combination is if you have some like brown or these khaki faux leather shorts. So you would wear these under and then wear these over like that so that's a really nice combination as well um same thing with some like brown boots or black boots but this is just another option okay here's the other one in gray and actually i didn't even realize but this is a size small <laughs> um i did order a medium because i wanted to kind of see the sizes but i might have accidentally returned the medium one and kept the small which was my mistake but you can totally tell the difference this is a little bit more fitted um and then you could see the shorts a lot more which it doesn't bother me i still like the size but i can feel the difference on the sleeves like on the arms i feel like it's not long enough and i feel like i want it to fit longer just like the other ones are but i think i can work with this i don't mind it um but this is the medium one again this is the turtleneck Super nice, this is a really nice gray and I love the way it looks with the black shorts and then I'm styling it with these boots. Super cute and then if it gets a little bit too chilly you can add that black coat over and then it's like perfect. So I love this one. This is a really nice gray.
Okay, so here is the black turtleneck crop sweater. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I love the fit, I love the style. This will look nice with some really nice high-waisted leggings um, or some like nice um, skinny high-waisted jeans um, with some boots or some high heels. It just really depends if you just kind of want to wear it casually. The leggings, some high socks, and some Uggs will look nice as well, but you guys kind of get the idea. There's like so many ways you can um, wear this and style it. So I'll give you guys a closer look on the material. It does have the ribbed lines on the sleeves and at the bottom and right here at the turtleneck. And then everything else is just a solid warm fabric. So very nice fitting, loose fitting from the sides. This is what it looks like and i love it i like the style super cute okay and let me show you what the chunky knitted sweater looks like i love it so much the knitted material is just super cute and perfect for the winter so let me put this on and show you guys what it looks like so here is the knitted sweater um it's it feels nice it feels very cozy and it feels very warm um, you can wear this with some nice high-waisted black jeans or some leggings. Um, you can also definitely layer this up if you want to wear your coat or a jacket over it. Um, it will look really nice. It has like this, I don't know what this is. It's like a little piece of yarn that kind of wants to come out. So that's just a little default, I guess. We can just tuck that in or cut it off, but you were able to tell it's like right there <laughs> okay so um anyways this is what it looks like super nice very cute if you feel like it's too loose from here you can definitely tuck it into your jeans or your pants or your under bra and kind of just like wear it like this but if you don't mind it i think it looks really nice just the way it comes in but this is what it looks like and i really like it i think it's perfect for the winter and for those colder days um, this has a very nice big loose fitting from the sides so there's a lot of movement around you can do um, it's not tight it's not you know stretching out or anything feels great all right guys well that is it for today's haul i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and like i said i'll link everything that i can down in the description box in case you guys want to go do some shopping and get yourself a nice little cozy sweater so you can stay warm this winter thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you guys on the next video mm -hmm.